I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. Have you written your Christmas wish list yet, Monty? Wish list? Like the presents you hope to receive? Oh, like a wish list. I wrote one of those. I asked for it. Cease your childish wish listing, for there is a prophet in your midst. A prophet? Oh, no. What are you supposed to do when you meet a prophet? Do you bow or curtsy? Grovel! The answer is you grovel before your prophet! Wow! It's the prophet Milky Eye. He's my favorite. No, it is not the prophet Malachi from the book of Malachi, but rather the prophet Victor of a book yet to be named or written. Uh, Victor, do you have to use the megaphone? It's awfully loud. It helps to use the megaphone. Uh, when did you become a prophet? This morning. You became a prophet this morning? Who better than I to be a prophet? I'm charismatic, good-looking, and respected by all my peers. Hear my important words and obey. Okay! Everyone stand on one foot. Jump up and down. Now, pat your head and rub your tummy. No, 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 you, you're doing it wrong, Clara, and Monty, you're still just jumping. You didn't say Simon Says. Look, I don't think either of you know what a big deal this is. If you don't do what a prophet tells you, God will become very angry. Oh, no! Hey, we're out of glue sticks at our table. Do you have a... Oh, what's going on? Victor just became a prophet, and Monty and I are failing to obey his will! We're going to get in so much trouble with God! Is this true, Victor? Yes. As a prophet of God, people who disobey me do so at their own peril. So, God told you to deliver a message that Clara and Monty should do whatever it is they're doing? What? Well, no, not specifically. Because that's what prophets do. They deliver God's messages, not their own. Very interesting, Adelina. Who told you to stop? But you see, the whole reason I decided to become a prophet in the first place was because... I don't think you can decide to be a prophet. God decides. So who is God going to pick? You? I don't know. Maybe. God can choose anyone. Oh, heavens. That's way, way too much pressure. Don't be absurd, Clara. Being a prophet is awesome. Actually, being a prophet is a really hard job. In the Bible, people were always mad at them for telling God's truth, and so prophets had to hide in the wilderness and eat bugs and stuff. Oh. Well, I did not sign up for anything like that. <laughs> oh, here you are, Clara, in case God picks you. I can't be a prophet. I'd look terrible in a beard. It's all right, Clara. I don't think beards are actually required. Oh, good. So, I've been reading about prophets in the Bible, and Ada was right. They have a hard job. Prophets have to share messages from God, and God's messages are usually about things needing to change, which seems to really upset some people. Yeah, I don't think people really like change. I know I don't. Change is, is scary because it's different. You don't know anything about it. You have no idea what's going to happen. Is it going to be better than how things are right now or, or worse? But I suppose if, if it's a change God wants for us, it'd have to be good, even if it sounds scary. So I guess if God chose me to be a prophet, I'd... I'd do it, as long as I didn't have to eat bugs. <laughs> Jumping.